back in 2014 i started traveling i went to almost all the states in the country other countries while traveling i realized that mountain is my kind of a place i don't want to be in cities much because the life in mountains is really sustainable mostly i stay at homestays because they are the most sustainable place where you can stay i got this opportunity to come to this amazing place in leh itself i knew it for a long time i've been here earlier and uh, the person who owns it um, is kind of a friend so she invited me to come and experience this amazing sustainable place called dolkar towards the end of 2017 i moved back to ladakh right so one one thing was to you know set up a space here and it had to be tourism related because for it to be economically viable and for it to sustain as a business uh, for ladakh tourism made sense you know but the reason why we also wanted to make it uh, more niche and luxury in that sense was also maybe subconsciously trying to prove a point that our traditional simple uh you know um, method can also be perceived as luxury what is the meaning of dolkar uh so my grandmother's name was dolkar and khar means palace so we've named the place after her so it's dol's palace dolkar very nice yeah. and uh, what is the meaning of tas 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 so tas basically um means garden but you can use it to uh, refer um, maybe a vegetable garden or an orchard can also be referred to as sas so we used to call i mean this place was referred to as sas because of the apple and apricot orchard so that's where it has so i've been here for 2 days now that give me enough time to understand the vibe of this place and how they have beautifully sourced materials locally to build this place so that person who's staying over here can feel close to ladakhi culture architecture and the food let me show you around this beautiful place and how they have made it sustainably and also the food there in most of the food they serve is grown locally here by themselves let's go and check it out this talwa fire is about forest fire how uh, forests are being more susceptible to fires because of global warming because of depletion and rising temperatures this dish is a uh, microplastic so it denotes this dish is about basically how microplastics uh, made way into our ecosystem and into our food chain as well So let's talk about a few important things. Why do I like this place and why this place is important? So Ladakh is a very different place as compared to another cities or any other place in the country. They have very limited resources and they cannot afford to have so many people live over here. And hence living sustainably here is more important than in a city. This place is very simple. This place is not trying to do something new mind blowing all they are trying to preserve the natural way of living in Ladakh and also if you look at the menu the menu is not offering dishes continental dishes or let's say from different countries or different cuisines 
they are offering only and majorly just the Ladakhi food. And that is again amazing. I'm coming to Ladakh to experience Ladakh. So offer me that. And this place is exactly the definition of Ladakh. If you want to experience Ladakh, come to this place. And that is why I'm really liking it. Okay, so you like this place. You want to come here and experience, but you have some doubts. Let's talk about that. I have made a short list, which usually are the questions which we ask if you want to go somewhere. First thing, how long is it open? When is it open? It's open throughout the year, 12 months. Come any point of time and I would recommend come in the winter, experience the true beauty of Ladakh, which is winter. Next, capacity. How many people can live over here? So this place has seven villas. Each villa can have two people plus one child. Another one, location. How far is this place? Where is it? It's in Leh Ladakh. It's just 3.9 kilometers from the airport and it's 1.8 kilometers from the main market. So very close, like in the center itself. Then now the most important thing, how much does it charge to live over here? So for now, the time when I was staying over here, it was costing 12,000 per night and uh, whenever you're coming you can google it out again and see how much is it charging at that point of time depending upon you can see it in the season how much will it charge for you so that's all from the Dolker resort now is the time when i'm gonna check out from this amazing space but gonna go shift to a homestay I'm gonna be there for two days in thixay because there's this amazing dance festival gonna happen at the thixay monastery i'm gonna be there try to experience that before I leave Ladakh once again and head towards the city. That's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe for more such vlogs.